Welcome back to Reflect. My name is Brendan Plank. So J.D. Vance is really trying to beat the allegations that the guy is completely lost on the campaign trail and that he's weird and that he has no policy ideas when it comes to helping Americans, helping them at the grocery store, bring down the price of their groceries or to help curb inflation. So what does J.D. Vance do? He shows up to a grocery store and starts complaining about the price of eggs. Eggs, when Kamala Harris took office, were short of $1.50 a dozen. Now a dozen eggs will cost you around $4 thanks to Kamala Harris's inflationary policies. Pennsylvania actually has seen some of the worst grocery price increases of the entire nation. And again, it's because she cast the deciding vote on the Inflation Explosion Act. I think we want Pennsylvanians to be able to afford groceries. We want our young families to be able to buy food at a reasonable price at the grocery store. And the only way to do that is to get back to common sense economic policies and fire Kamala Harris. This is a person who's presided over a thousand dollar increase in monthly uh, expenses. Just to afford the same life you could have afforded three and a half years ago, it costs you over a thousand dollars a month here in Pennsylvania. We can do so much better. We certainly will. And as the father of a couple of kids who eat a whole lot, we certainly need to do better for the next generation. God bless you guys. JD Vance there holding three dozen eggs and talking about the price of a dozen eggs. Very weird. Also, JD Vance there, whose team clearly went in and made those the price of eggs back behind him much larger than all of the other prices in the store. Cause you can see right next to the eggs was all the butter and the, you know, sour cream and whatnot. None of the prices were nearly as big and back behind JD Vance were the price of eggs that clearly said they were $3 for a dozen. JD buddy, what are you doing? You're not beating the allegations. You're only enforcing them. Also, did you hear J.D. Vance talking about any policy ideas that would help curb inflation or bring down the prices at the grocery store? No. He's going to fire Kamala Harris. Okay. Okay, J.D. And then what? And then what are you going to do? Oh, uh, well... We're going we're gonna to repeal that Inflation Reduction Act, which J.D. said it was the Inflation Explosion Act. The Inflation Explosion Act that was signed into law in 2022 when inflation was over 8%, it is now under 3.5%. That's more than a 50% reduction in the rise in inflation. Is that an explosion, J.D.? Oh, is that like the Haitians eating the cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio? Is that another lie, JD? Even the way he kind of treated his kids here. Now, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but his kid clearly has a cough. You can hear him running around coughing. I don't even know if he was covering his mouth, but that kind of just like brought up in my mind the pandemic and, and just immediately brought me back to like Donald Trump and the moron uh, that he was slash is. You don't want to do that if you're J.D. Vance. Also, J.D. Vance kind of gave his kids a heavy-handed uh, petting, if you will. J.D. Vance has a, a, a strange, you know, he's a strange father. Listen to how he talked about uh, his boys the other day at a campaign rally. It's so amazing when you, get, when, when you have kids and you see how innate their personalities really are. So the, the seven-year-old is probably somewhere around here reading a book. He's like his mother. And the four and a half year old is, 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 is much more like his dad. He's probably trying to find a building to burn down or something like that. One of his kids is like him and he's trying to find a building to burn down. Like, JD, that's weird. Don't say those things. Ah, oh, man. Like somebody, somebody, one of his handlers has to get like uh, a, a better uh, grasp on him. Cause this is really, it's bad. It's getting bad. It's only going to get worse as Donald Trump starts to slide in the polls even further. Uh, and then he's going to throw J.D. Vance under the bus. He's going to blame J.D. Vance for everything. Uh, and we're going to have moments like this to look back on and go, yeah, I mean, J.D. Vance was was bad, but they're all bad, right? Donald, J.D., everybody involved in this campaign, they're terrible speaking of campaigns donald trump also is now uh running away from the second debate like the coward uh that he is meanwhile kamala says bring it on i'm gonna be talking about that in my next video you can probably click on it on the screen here and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet click the logo uh, so that you get my future videos about politics and the election in your inbox thanks for liking the video thanks for sharing your reflections in the comments i'll see you in the next video